here we are, the moment you all have been waiting for, the 2017 Old School 200, here at Kannapolis Raceway from Kannapolis, North Carolina. Here we are, finally, the fourth annual race. It is a cloudy day here at Kannapolis Raceway, but it should be exciting either way. Will there be weather on the way? Well, it depends how it goes throughout this race. But we got 20 of the best old school NASCAR drivers racing here at Kannapolis for the for the fourth annual Old School 200. Four years of racing at this best track, and all in all those three years, they've been amazing. Ricky Craven in number 32 starts on a pole alongside with Casey Kane on the outside of row one. They've won the 2017 Napa Dual races. And then we got some new drivers, well, not new drivers, but then we got a new driver, Christian Fittipaldi, filling in for John Andretti. John Andretti has stage four cancer and he decided to hang up his helmet for this year. Hopefully he can come back the next year for the fifth annual race. Well, here's your starting lineup for today's race. On row one, it is the 32 of the Tide Ride, Ricky Craven and Casey Kane, the Napa Duel winners. Row two, Rusty Wallace. For the first time, he finally raced his way into the Old School 200. Finally, he doesn't have to get voted. And Jeff Gordon, former rivalries from the 90s. Row three, Wally Dollarback and Daryl Waltrip. Row four, Jimmy Johnson, last year's Old School 200 winner, and Ryan Newman. Row 5 is Dale Earnhardt Jr. making his final NASC uh, Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series appearance, but he will continue to race in the Old School 200. And here we got Texas Terry Labonte alongside. Row 6, it is Ricky Rudd and Tony Stewart. He retired last year, but he's still going to race in the Old School 200 races. Row 7 is Kyle Petty and Todd Bodine. Row 8, it is Matt Kenseth and... 2014 Old School 200 winner Johnny Benton in the number 10 Valvoline ride for this year. Row 9, it is Christian Fittipaldi filling in for John Andretti and Mark Martin, your 2015 Old School 200 winner. And on row 10, the final row, Bobby Labonte and Michael Waltrip, both of them voted their way in and they're excited to be in this race. And here's Johnny Benson's number 30 car that won the inaugural Old School 200. So, that is it for his starting lineup. Enough talk. Let's hear the command to start engines. Drivers, start your engines. Green flag is in the air. We're racing here at Kannapolis for the fourth annual Old School 200. Ricky Craven's going to lead the first lap as he's pulling away on board with the Tide Ride. Now he leads the second lap. Lap three running. Here comes Casey Kane making a move. Trouble back straight away. Ryan Newman spins. Caution is out. We're on board with the 12 Mobile One car. He's going to go on Pirelli, taking some four tires and fuel. Luckily, no damage. Green flag is in the air. Casey. Oh, contact. Rusty Wallace takes the lead. There's more contact. Oh, trouble. Turn three. Wally Donald back and Jimmy Johnson. Crash. Caution's out once again for the Hendrick cars. Johnson is going to go pit road, get some repairs. But for Rusty Wallace, who's on its side, he is done for this year. He's going to be out of the race and won't finish dead last. It's unfortunate for the 25 team. He's been doing good here. But unfortunately, the good one... Does not last today. On board with the 25 going to the garage. Oh, terrible camera angle. Excuse us. There we go. And he's back at the garage. He backed it up to the garage. And sadly, he's done for this year.
Lap 11 underway. Junior makes it three wide as we're on board with Ricky Craven. I don't think Casey Kane got it going, but we're on board with Junior now. Junior's going to lead that lap, but against Craven. Gets into his bumper. Craven's going to lead that lap now on board with him. As Johnson goes lap down, fly by, turn three and four. And Craven leads the 15th lap, entering the first corner once again. Trouble turn three back straight away. Jimmy Johnson with a hard hit in the inside wall. Caution is out. Ryan Newman, Kyle Petty, Matt Kenseth, and Todd Bodine are earning this as well. What happened was that Kenseth and Johnson made contact at the back straightaway. It made Johnson slid, and Kenseth got along with it as well. And five cars are in this crash. And here comes the safety crews as we're on board with Bodine, and we're on board with Kenseth in turn three. As Jimmy Johnson gets into the wrecker, he's done for this year. Ryan Newman, Kyle Petty, they're going to go to the garage too. But for Matt Kenseth and Todd Bodine, they're on pit road getting repairs. But there'll be multiple laps down as we're looking at Petty. He's driving his, his way to the garage with Newman and Johnson. And Wally Donnellback, here's the four cars that are in the garage. On board with Todd Bodine. And on board with Matt Kenseth on pit road. Green flag back in the air with two laps to go. Ricky Craven and Terry Labonte gets a great restart. Oh, Labonte and Junior make contact. Contact. Oh, we got a crash. White flag. One lap to go. The race back to the line. Johnny Benson leads him off in the final corner. He will win the 2017 Old School 200. Johnny Benson gets his second Old School 200 win. How about that? The number 10 Valvoline Pontiac Grand Prix, Johnny Benson does his burnout after winning his second Old School 200. Remember folks, he won here back in 2014, the inaugural race, but that was when he was in the number 30 Pentoio Pontiac Grand Prix and there were 5 cars in that race. With 20 cars, he's number 1. A familiar face in a familiar place. Johnny Benson in victory lane here at Kannapolis Raceway for the second time for the Old School 200. He is now a two-time winner here at Kannapolis for the Old School 200, 2014 and 2017. How about that? With that last restart, he just kept it going, avoiding wrecks. Stay out of trouble, and here he is. For the first time ever, one driver with multiple wins. As Johnny Benson comes home a winner for the second time, here's the other finishing results. Casey Kane with a very fast car. First part of the race he was dominant. But then on that sec but then on that restart lap eleven, I believe it went downhill. But at least he came back to finish runner up, but he was one spot short. Rusty Wallace, for the first time in this race, he has he finally races away in from Napa Duels and he finishes third. Fourth place, it is Jeff Gordon. He's gotta try again next year to win this race. Of that great race for the number 24 Rainbow Warrior team. Fifth, Bobby Labonte. After, after winning the fan vote and starting from the back, the number 18 Interstate Batteries, Bobby Labonte finishes fifth. Daryl Waltrip finishes sixth, and Tony Stewart finishes seventh. Mark Martin, your 2015 Old School 200 winner, finishes eighth. Christian Fittipaldi, in the number 43, has been substituting for John Andretti this year. He finishes ninth. What a top 10 race it was for the 43 team. And Michael Waltrip, another driver that, that, vo that got voted his way into the race. He finishes 10th. What a race for Waltrip. 11th is Todd Bodine. But he was part of that... Uh, Big crash, uh, five car wreck, but he manages to hang on with the 11th place finish. I believe one lap down. Matt Kenseth, 12th, quiet and struggled throughout the race, but he manages to stay in the top 15 and he was by the five car wreck. So Kenseth's got a lot of work to do in this racetrack if he wants to at least get a good finish here next year. 13th it is Ricky Rudd, almost had the race one, one of the fastest cars out there in. So close, he was just one lap short. 14th, it is the number 
No, wait. Uh, 14th, that is Terry Lavani. Very fast card to number 5 team, but once again, so close. One lap short. 15th, Ricky Craven dominated the second half of the race. He was so close to get the win, but he was, he was one lap short. Dale Earnhardt Jr. finished the 16th. The driver who started the craziness before the white flag and managed to get into the crash. He went to the garage when the white flag came out because the right rear damage. So, very fast car and he was just one lap short. Kyle Petty was part of the five car wreck. He finished his 17th. Ryan Newman struggling at Kannapolis once again finished his 18th. And he was part of the five car wreck. 19th for Jimmy Johnson. For the 2016 Old School 200 winner for last year, I'm very surprised that he finished his 19th. He struggled. He did struggle earlier in the race. He got into a wreck with Do Wally Dallenbach, but he was many minutes. He was like a couple of laps down. All of a sudden, he got into the crash. And Wally Dallenbach, very good here, but he manages to get into the crash. He was on its side. Oh, luckily, he didn't go upside down. But he finishes last. Better luck next year for while he's gone back. He knows he's good here, but he, but all he has to do is finish the race. So that is it for the 2017 Old School 200 for this one classic summer race. It has been another great year. And I want to say thank you guys for watching this race. More stop motions to come for a stop motion summer. And congratulations to Johnny Benson on winning the 2017 Old School 200. We want to say thank you guys for watching the 2017 Old School 200. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.